I'm standing here today at Kingsdyke near Peterborough, a nature reserve that was created following the extraction of clay to make our iconic London brick product. Clay extraction here finished in the 1990s and since then it's been put back to nature. In fact in 2018 it was named the most biodiverse wildlife area in the UK. This is just one of many examples of our commitment to sustainability and looking forward our approach will be separated into three areas, people, planet and product. People are our most important asset and it's important that we continue to invest in people, particularly bringing young people into our business and training them. We also work with colleges and other educational establishments to help train young bricklayers to install our products after we've made them. But in our business our most important priority is health and safety and we work closely in collaboration with our employees and other stakeholders to make sure that we can run our business as safely as we possibly can. We're committed Living Wage Foundation employer and we work well with local charities and community groups. Put simply, our goal is to make sure that we are not only a good neighbour but also a decent employer. From planting trees, to increasing our recycling, to putting in car chargers at our offices and using more electric plant and equipment in our factories. All of these things are really important, along with buying energy from renewable sources. Top of the list at the moment is plastic. We need and we are working on reducing the amount of plastic packaging that we use. It's these commitments that have helped us over the last few years reduce our carbon intensity, reduce the amount of mains water that we use and significantly reduce the amount of waste that we put to landfill. The products we make today are extremely durable, very long lasting and require little or no maintenance. This makes them inherently sustainable. However, we don't stop there. We're constantly looking to innovate to find better ways of doing things and improve our sustainability. One example are some of the products that we've brought to market in recent years, providing off-site solutions to our customers. This is where we make components of buildings, typically walls or floors, that are made in our factories and then installed on site. This speeds up the time on site, it reduces the amount of waste on site and it helps make building sites safer places. But perhaps the best example at the moment is the new brick factory that we're building at Desford in Leicestershire. This will, once completed, will reduce the amount of carbon we emit per brick made and will be one of the most efficient and environmentally friendly plants in Europe. These three pillars of sustainability will help guide our decision making for years to come. There's a lot of work to be done, but as a business, we're ready for that work. You can trace Forterra's history back for over 150 years with many generations of the same family having worked for this business. So we've got more reason than most to make sure that we leave us a legacy for generations to come. <laughs>